when a bus in Springfield, Ohio crashed, rolling to its side. Report of a school bus auto accident. I got on the bus to go home like any other day, and when I was walking on, I noticed a 12-pack of White Claws right beside the bus driver. At first, I really didn't think anything of it till about the second bus stop when I looked up and saw this man downing two cans at one time, and I also saw seven empty cans just rolling around in the bus aisle. So I walked up to the bus driver, and I was like, bro, there are kids on this bus. You cannot be drinking and driving. He said, shut the fuck up, asshole. There's no laws when you're drinking claws. Now watch this. Next thing you know, he started doing donuts in this bitch and the rest was history. As you may or may not know, I've had some crazy bus experiences. I've had drunk bus drivers. I've had bus drivers that kicked me off because I didn't chip in for gas money. I've had my school bus hijacked. This recent experience is my last straw. Like I am never stepping foot on a school bus ever again. It was the third week of school and I literally thought that I had a good bus driver this year for once in my life. He was like a guy in his 30s, you know, didn't really have much personality. He was just there to do his job. And then randomly on a Tuesday, this guy decides to start drinking White Claws while driving the bus. Like what? Like it was honestly shocking. That's the last thing I expected from him. I did do the right thing because nobody was saying anything to him. But as you know, he told me to shut the fuck up and you know what happened next. She kicked us off. Right now it's six. Who would drop off 40 kids? and just say, here, walk. Family members fuming after a bus driver leaves dozens of children stranded a long way from school. So yeah, we were just on our way to school and then all of a sudden the bus driver stopped and she was like, who got that gas money? And I was like, gas money? This is a school bus. And then she called us some broke motherfuckers and kicked us off. I'm gonna go ahead and give you some more context on what happened. You know, it's seven in the morning. I'm waiting at the bus stop like any other morning. Then the bus rolls up. I walk on the bus and it's a substitute bus driver. And she says, where's my gas money? And I'm like, the fuck you on about? Ain't the school supposed to pay for that? And she was asking everyone that walked on the bus one by one to chip in for gas money. So obviously nobody is giving her gas money. I mean, who brings cash to school? And then once everybody was picked up, she was like, this is your last chance to chip in some gas money because nobody gave her shit when we walked on. And when she said that, nobody gave her gas money. And then she literally called us some broke motherfuckers and kicked us off like straight to our faces then as i was walking off she told me personally maybe your broke ass will find a job on the way there i didn't find no job as it took us like an hour to walk to school horrifying moment a school bus in ohio packed with students flips onto its side yeah man i was on my way home from school then i noticed it was a half empty bottle of tito's in the bus driver's cup holder so that got me thinking so i'll go to the bus driver i'm like bro you good to drive that man said, I'm straight, I finna whip this hoe. 30 seconds later, this hoe was upside down in a ditch. We was tumbling and everything. This was the first bus accident that I have ever been in. And this one was also very surprising because the first half of the bus ride was completely normal. Until halfway through the bus ride, I noticed that there was a half empty bottle of Tito's in the bus driver's cup holder. Like he whipped that out of nowhere. Like that was not there when I walked on the bus. So then again, I'm the one that went up to the bus driver and asked if he was good to drive. And when he said, I'm straight, I finna whip this hoe, I really took his word for it. But unfortunately, Unfortunately, not even a minute later, we were upside down in a ditch. We literally were tumbling and everything. Like we tumbled like six times and we were tumbling. This after a driver was arrested for DUI when a fifth grader on her bus called 911. Catherine Macaron told police she was on anti-anxiety and sleep medications. Anti-anxiety and sleep medications, my fuck ass like I haven't seen the two empty wine bottles just rolling around in the back of the bus. Anyways, it was just a typical school day up until it was time to go home because when everybody got on the bus, our bus driver really said, buckle up kiddos, I finna turn this hoe into the magic school bus. And bro was not kidding, she whipped this hoe into a lake. Now this substitute bus driver was from a different 
fucking planet. Like she was losing her mind the second I stepped on the bus. I knew something was not right with her. The second I sat down on the bus, I saw the two empty wine bottles just rolling around. I was like, oh boy, this is gonna be a ride. And then the real concern kicked in when she said, buckle up kiddos, I finna turn this hoe into the magic school bus. Then I really knew I was on the ride of a lifetime or my lifetime. And it was a ride I'll never forget. She literally whipped this hoe into a lake. Like how does that even happen? Like that's some magic school bus type shit, bruh. And she tried to blame all this on anti-anxiety in sleep medications. There's no way she thought that was actually a valid excuse. Like what? And those two wine bottles were big as hell. Like those things were huge. Breaking news, it's happening in Brooklyn. A man stealing a school bus and causing chaos to put it bluntly crashing into several cars this, this shit was crazy i was chilling in the back of the bus on my way home from school then at one of the bus stops our bus driver says i gotta go use the bathroom real quick so he leaves and then one minute later this random guy walks on the bus with a bottle of jack daniels and a case of beer so i'm thinking like who is this guy then he says i'm the captain now we're gonna have a good time and the rest was history. He put this hoe in cars, buildings. A random homeless dude took the wheel of the bus. This is insane. And what are the odds of this? And why would he do this? He didn't just take the wheel of the bus. This guy had a bottle of Jack Daniels and a case of beer. This guy was drunk as fuck. If I was a homeless guy, the last thing I would do is literally hijack a bus with kids on it. 